Welcome to the New England Sports Village for this South Coast Conference Championship game between two undefeated teams. The Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk team and the Somerset Berkeley Blue Raiders. I'm joined by George Austin, a digital reporter for the Somerset Sentinel, sponsored by SATV. That's the Somerset Cable Access Station. So you're getting the best of both worlds here. You're getting a Seekonk person and a Somerset person. And George... It really seemed like this was a foregone conclusion that these two teams were going to meet in this game. Yeah, both of them are undefeated. They tied during the regular season. Uh, and, and so it doesn't get any better than this, a, a conference championship game, which is great for the kids considering there's no state tournament this year. It, it is great right, for the because, kids, and we're going to get into a lot of what happened this year and the uh, things that they had to do to make sure the season could get off the road. But you mentioned that tie. That was a week ago tonight. Uh, two nothing lead DRS took into the third period. Somerset was able to roar back the game tying goal with just 10 seconds left. And the goalie pulled the, the kids must have been very excited to be able to grab that tie that day. Yeah. They started out slowly. They had played the night before. So the coach didn't think they quite had their legs under them in the first two periods, but they, kind of got a little stronger in the, in the third period and, and and really had a good third to tie that game up. It seemed that way. Uh, Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk finished the season with a 9-0-1 record, Somerset Berkeley an 8-0-1 record, and it's just that winning percentage, that decimal point of a higher winning percentage for Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk is why that game is here at their home rink. But both teams very familiar with each other and very familiar with the surroundings. Yep. Yeah, it should be a good matchup. It's going to be a good be game. A good... Both teams well rested, so we're going to get uh, get started with the national anthem here. We'll let the rinks PA system take over, and we'll join you right after that. All right, time to play some hockey. Nope. Tony Gugliotta here again from Seekonk High School, joined by George Austin from the C Somerset Sentinel, sponsored by Somerset Cable Access TV. And George, give us some players to look for, players to watch uh, from Somerset Berkeley. You followed uh, them all year. Well, Somerset is led by Evan Afonso, who's a senior. He's their leading scorer with 15 goals and, and six assists. But while their leading scorer is a senior, this is a young team. Uh, they have a couple of sophomores who are also good scorers in Davis Sullivan and Noah Taylor and a freshman in, in John Rothwell. And their goaltender also is a freshman. 
Uh, Brandon Silva's only given up 11 goals in seven games, so he doesn't really play like a freshman. Yeah, and DRS sporting their own freshman backstop as well. Um, Sam Bastis uh, really took the job over halfway through the season and uh, hasn't given it back since. So a battle of freshman goalies and the DRS team very young too, as they're led by a very surprising uh, freshman, Aiden Booth, number 14, um, along with Devin Daly, uh, junior Devin Daly and sophomore Liam Fecto, who's centering the line out here right now. So the line out here now is Fecto, Noah Bastis, and I believe that is Evan Pereira. Okay, so this is Fecto trying to get the puck out of the zone. Bastis clears it back to center. The four check is on. DRS gets a change. That freshman Aiden Booth that we talked about, joined by Devin Daly and Ryan McCarthy. Daly wings the shot around, doesn't get through. Booth keeps it in. Daly dumps it deep. Daly follows it. Gets it around the back of the net. Daly going wide. Feeds to the point. Foley, a shot. Nice save there by Brandon Silva. So Silva, the first test of the night came from a shot by Captain Carter Foley from the point. Uh, Silva has been the starter since the beginning of the season. He, he walked right in with their a senior goalie who graduated from, from last year, and, and he hasn't missed a beat all season. Sometimes when you graduate uh, a senior goalie, you're worried that you're not uh, going to get uh, the the play that uh, you expect, but this freshman's really really done a good job for them, keeping them undefeated this season. All right, Somerset Berkeley able to clear the zone. That's Josh Pacheco. Captain Brendan Santos chases it back for DRS, curls to the corner. Santos loses, but Ryan McCarthy chips out. Here comes Daly. Daly and Booth. Two on one. Daly goes around, takes a shot. Saved by Silva. So DRS with a couple of early chances here, but Silva, no problem, and no problem handling his rebounds. Yeah, he's been very good with that on all year. He he doesn't let too many get out after he saves them. He, so this is Sebastian Ribello centering Mike Agressi and Peter Anganetti for DRS. All right, John Rothwell on the point loses it. Ribello, a shot, a save. A great save by Silva on the rebound to absolutely turn away Anganetti. What a save flashing that right pad out. That looked like it was in. The fans here thought so. Brendan Santos. Dumps it back in. A bouncer on net. Turned away by Silva. Anganetti loses that. Here comes John Rothwell through center. Up to Nathan Cordero. He loses it. Anganetti turns it back up. But Somerset Bergley takes over center ice. A little bit of a tennis match going on there. This is Evan Afonso. He's the guy to watch. A quick shot. And saved by Sam Bastis. At this point, I think it's good that Somerset Berkeley was able to just get a shot on net and, yeah. and test the young goalie. Yeah, Somerset has had a lot of slow starts during this season. They, they tend to turn it on more towards the start of the second period and, and in the third period. It's been kind of a common theme. And that's the certainly dangerous in a championship game like yeah. this. So I'm sure Coach uh, Snyder is hoping they get their legs under them quicker than not. Yeah, they've had a little more rest for this game than they've had for some other games. So they. All right, Somerset Berkeley with a little bit of pressure here as DRS breaks it out. Noah Bastis takes it wide up the left wing side, poked away. Nice poke check there by Matthew Costa. Shot from the point. That's Wyatt Naster. And here we go. Max Aguiar dumps it in. He gets it himself. Tries to center it, but Foley is there to send it the other way. Bastis dumps it in. DRS needs a change. 
Silva stops it behind his net, leaves it for Carter Stevens. Stevens run into by Foley. A battle of the Carters there. A Carter collision, if you will. Daly keeps it in at the point, but Somerset's able to chip it out. Daly back over to Wyatt. Nastar. He'll dump it in right on net. Rebound left out front, but nobody there for DRS. And Somerset Berkeley is able to break it out. Luke Gavin chasing it down. As Somerset Berkeley changes. Devin Daly, dangerous pass across to the star. He gets it and gets it over to Aiden Booth. Over to Daly. Daly goes wide. On the back end. Chips a shot on net. Turned away by Silva. Back down low by Colton, the star. And that's Evan Fasteson. Oh, excuse me, Aiden Booth just blocked in front. Wide open shot from the slot and blocked. Ooh, a quick backhand by Ryan McCarthy. I don't think Silva saw it, but it goes wide. Playing in the corner. Brendan Santos shoots it, tipped in. We got a whistle. Not sure what the whistle's for. It looks like the net came off the peg. Yes. So some sustained pressure by DRS five minutes into this game, but a pretty even back and forth uh, as it's as both teams are getting their legs underneath they, them. Yeah, I think Seacock, uh, uh, Dyke Rehoboth has had a little bit more of an advantage so far in, in the first period. They're getting more pressure on, on Silver than, than Somerset is. Seems like the ice is tilting that way slightly, but long game to go. That's Fecto back to Bastis. Bastis across. But that doesn't connect, and here comes Noah Taylor. He chips it up. That's going to be an icing. Before we get too far into this game, I want to take this time to send our thoughts out to Bishop Fian player A.J. Quetta. Of course, uh, a tragic accident um, left him uh, with a spinal cord injury. He was just transported, I saw yesterday, from Boston to a world-class rehabilitation center in Atlanta. And these stories are so sad, but it's so positive when we see uh, everybody, the hockey community and the local community rally around him. Shot by Santos over everything. And Davis Sullivan chips it out. Santos back, a big stay-at-home defenseman, also a baseball football player uh, at Seekonk High School. This is Captain Taylor Politano, the breakout pass. Stuck along the side. And Liam Fecto digs it out. Picked up by Daly. Daly tries to go inside out. Nice break up there by Matthew Costa. Fecto with a hip check underneath us. You couldn't see it from your camera. You have to trust me on that one. Uh, knocks the puck away from Noah Taylor. That's Matthew Costa. Dumps it to the far corner. Wyatt Nastar chips it out. Kept in by the Blue Raiders. This is Colton Nastar behind the net, setting up. Breakout pass to the left wing side. Lost by Anganetti. Back to Nastar. He gets it out. A lot of neutral zone play here. DRS gives it to Daly on the far side, but chipped back out to center. Wyatt to Andre Ashton. Ashton up to Aganetti. He loses it. Pass to the left wing side. John Rothwell misses it. Takes a hit from Agresti. And here comes DRS. Aganetti takes a shot. Goes wide. Agresti aggressively forechecking in the corner. Andre Ashton had the chip in chance blocked. And here's Somerset Berkeley. This is Rothwell. Puts it on net off of Gresty sticking over the net. That goalie had no chance on that if that was under the crossbar. That puck touched at center ice. No icing there. Carter Stevens whips it around. Here it comes. This is Max Aguiar. Aguiar broken up there by Andre Ashton. Somerset Berkeley dumps it deep. Colton Nastar reverses field. Gets taken down. Devin Daly helping out. Aiden Booth takes a hit to move the puck. Sean Patota back checking, but Daly steals it. Daly in the corner. 
sends it across to no one. Picked up on the far blue line by Colton Nastar, who just throws it on net. Not a bad idea. Daly in the near corner. He's waiting. Sends it out front again. Doesn't connect. Nastar back down low. This is Aiden Booth back to Nastar. He has to step up to get it. Hits Booth. Booth to Daly. A great save again by Silva off the right arm. Back into the corner. Booth tries to center it. Somerset Berkeley shoots it back at him. Nastar from the point. It's tipped. That goes wide. And Somerset Berkeley, Evan Afonso. Takes it out of harm's way. Max Aguiar, long shift for him. He dumps it in. He's got to go get a change. Luke Gavin on the four check, along with Afonso. Brendan Santos lugs it up ice for DRS. Dumps it in. Evan Pereira takes a hit. Cycles it to the corner. Fecto covering for Santos on the point. As Santos doing some work in the corner, trying to four check. It's not just you folks at home. We're having a hard time seeing the far corner of the rink. We apologize. It's just the setup that we have to work with here. So we're doing the best we can to get you all the action that we can. As Somerset Berkeley dumps it into a spot that you can see. Wyatt Nastar back around. Stays back behind the net. But here's Davis Sullivan. He goes out front. Doesn't connect. Puck gets cleared to center. Somerset Berkeley resets. Matthew Costa. Over to Josh Pacheco. Pacheco. Puck's in the zone now. Bouncing around. And Liam Fecto comes out with it for DRS. The sophomore. Up the right wing side. Dumps it down low. Goes to get it. Quick moving period. Five and a half minutes to go in the first period here. Not a lot of whistles. Somerset Berkeley coming the other way. That's Noah Taylor trying to go across the blue line. Broken up by Wyatt Nastar. Senior captain from Dighton Rehoboth. Little tennis match going on in the neutral zone right now as Carter Stevens resets for Somerset Berkeley. That one's lost in the feet of Noah Taylor and dumped into the far corner. It looks like DRS is going to get a penalty. Up until now, it was a very clean game. You were right. No, no hardly any whistles in this game. Very clean game and very quick moving game. It's going to be Liam Fecto on the cross check, which happened right underneath the camera. You couldn't see it. But uh, just two people coming together and look like a cross check to the officials. So Somerset Berkeley on the power play. This is Afonso with Davis Sullivan. And who's that over there, George, on the far side? There he is, Max Aguiar up front with Tyler Politano and Matthew Costa on defense. Anganetti. Daily and the Nastars, the penalty killers for DRS. Here comes Somerset Berkeley up the left wing side. Afonso stops back to the point. The shot doesn't get to the net. Afonso tries to shoot. Blocked by Nastar. Chipped out of harm's way and all the way down by Daly. Matthew Costa resets behind the net. Pass. To the near wing, all the way to the far wing. It's David Sullivan chasing it in the corner with Colton Nastar. Picked up there. Pucks in front. Everyone's whacking at it. Doesn't go in. Shot wide by Matthew Costa. Goalie was down and out, but he missed the open side of the net. David Sullivan in the corner. Out to Politano. Politano throws it on net. Turned away by Bastis. Back out to the point. Aguiar shot blocked. Aguiar again down low. Throws it out front. Afonso tied up there by Daly. Back to Aguiar behind the net. Aguiar broken up by Nastar. Nastar. Now Afonso. Back to Aguiar. He tries to shoot. That's blocked by Anganetti. Long shift for the penalty killers out here. And there's going to be a whistle. Looks like the net move. So we got two net off the pegs this period um, and uh, a welcome whistle for DRS as the penalty killers looked like they were uh, getting tired there. Yeah, they, they... So, 
I was interested to see how the two freshman goaltenders were going to do with how much pressure there is in a championship game, and they're both doing well so far. They seem like they're comfortable in there. 30 seconds left on the penalty as that shot's blocked and cleared by DRS. All right, Carter Stevens behind the net. Up to the wing. Here goes Noah Taylor. Noah Taylor checked by Rebello and cleared by Colton Nastar. A long penalty kill and a good one for Nastar. As the penalty has expired, we're back to five on five. Somerset Berkeley. Luke Gavin tries to get it down low. Can't. Fecto out of the penalty box tries to chip it in, but it's turned the other way. Here comes Somerset Berkeley. Wyatt Nastar with the check in the corner. Rebello out. And here comes Fecto. Fecto goes wide, dumps it in. Checked by Patota. Picked up by Rothwell. Rothwell in the corner. <coughs> Being battled for in the corner. Taken out by Fecto. He shoots. Rebound turned away by Silva. Up the boards. Kept in by Foley. Foley. Right into Somerset Berkeley player, and he gets it out to the near side wing. Fecto again, curls back over to Wyatt Nastar. Wyatt over to Carter Foley. Playing with a dangerous, dangerous method, keeping it back in their own zone as Foley's checked there. The four check for Somerset Berkeley, keeping it in the zone. That one's off a of skate, and Daly can fly. Daly trying to beat two guys. Gets there first, curls toward the boards, comes out, flips a backhand toward the net. Good defense by Tyler Politano, lifting the stick of Aiden Booth, and Silva is able to cover the puck. So a frantic pace here so far. Minute 37 left in the first period already. And then Somerset had the first power play of the game, and, and neither team has been able to capitalize yet. Uh, Seekonk has had some great scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to put it in the net. Yeah, a couple very good scoring opportunities from both sides, and I think that power play really helps swing the momentum towards Somerset Berkeley. Let's see if they can harness it and keep it going. All right, Rebello, Anganetti, and Agresti for DRS. Excuse me, McCarthy, not Agresti. McCarthy wins the face up to Santos. That's blocked. Rebello with the rebound and scores. Sebastian Rebello, the Seekonk freshman. The one timer over the pad of Silva, and it's 1 0 DRS. Silva looked like he was screened on that shot. He certainly was screened yeah. by the blocked shot. The good faceoff went back to the point. The shot was blocked by a defender, and it just hopped right onto the stick of Rebello. Nothing Silva could do about it. But it's one nothing DRS, much like the first time these two teams met when DRS took an early advantage. Somerset Berkeley breaks it out. Here's Aguiar up the left wing side. Inside out move on Santos. Tries to pass it over. Diving block by Colton Nastar. Stick on the ice. That's Santos's. Somerset Berkeley keeps it in. Santos trying to play it with his feet down in the corner. Does a good job of it. Matthew Costa keeps it in, though, in front. Santos with no stick doing all he can to keep Evan Afonso from getting the puck. He succeeded at that, but he is going to go to the box for a holding penalty, it seems, right there. And he really had nothing else that he could have done there. That's what they call a good penalty. Sometimes you've got to take one. Yeah, Alfonso will usually put that puck in the net. He's their best scorer. He, he has 81 points for his career. He's, and they played a full season. He might have had a chance for 100, but fantastic the seasons. Fantastic the scorer. Good hands, good skater. And... Santos knows that, and he did all he could to keep the puck out of the net. So now DRS has to kill another penalty. So Afonso, a senior, 81 points, you said. That's a, quite a career for, for the senior, especially considering it was only a nine-game season this year. He comes from a great hockey family. His brother played. 
his father and his uncle all played for uh, Somerset High School and Somerset Berkeley High School. Shot doesn't get through and cleared by DRS. Eight seconds to go in the period. It's up to Max Aguiar. Aguiar can't do anything with it. Three seconds, two, and that's going to do it for the first period. So, after one, freshman Sebastian Ribello puts DRS on the board. one nothing over Somerset Berkeley in the South Coast Conference Championship game. We will be back for the start of the second period. Thank you. 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 for everything you have done. Welcome back everyone. South Coast Conference Hockey Championship between Titan Rehoboth Sea and Somerset Berkeley. The start of the second period here. DRS with a one nothing lead off the back of freshman Sebastian Ribello's third goal of the season. I'm joined by George Austin from the Somerset Sentinel sponsored by SATV. So the Somerset Cable Access Station uh, in town there. What do you think about the first period, George? Uh, pretty even game so far. Seekonk, I think, has an advantage on, on shots. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Somerset makes an adjustment and comes out stronger in this period. I you thought Seekonk does a very good job with the poke checks and, and not letting Somerset control the puck in, in their end as much. A lot of neutral zone play in the first period. I think that was a lot of feeling each, each other out there. Um, but Somerset will start uh, this period with a clean sheet of ice and a power play. Brendan Santos in the box for really a penalty he had to take. He didn't have a stick, and Somerset's leading scorer, Evan Afonso, was on the doorstep with a puck just sitting there for him. Santos grabbed him to keep the puck out of the net. So Somerset Berkeley with a minute nine worth of power play to start the second period here. one nothing again, DRS with the lead on a goal by Sebastian Ribello in the first period. So if you haven't watched the hockey game yet, uh, you can see that the players, you might be able to see that the players are all wearing masks. Uh, none of the players are able to uh, dress in the locker rooms here at the rink. It's all part of the state mandates um, to be able to get this sport uh, on the ice this year. And uh, we definitely need to give a shout out to the New England Sports Village, both schools and really all the schools in the South Coast Conference and all around the state to do what they can to get these players on the ice and have a season. As a teacher, I t talk to these kids every day and I know that it's very important for them to actually have some sense of normalcy here. And they've really adjusted well to the masks. I talked to Evan Afonso a couple of days ago and he said at the beginning of the season, it was a little difficult with the mask, but they got so used to them, it's almost like they're not wearing them anymore. Absolutely, and and, and that's a, that's a really good to know. It's really good to know. So a power play for Somerset Berkeley, uh, and the steal by Devin Daly. He's got speed. He's got it wide. Has Fecto in the middle, but puts the shot on net. I don't know if you saw him. Brandon Silva, the freshman, tested right out of the gate, 16 seconds into the period, makes a save and hangs on. For a freshman, uh, and really for any goalie, especially at this level, he handles his rebounds really well. Yeah, he doesn't let too many loose pucks out of there, which is probably why he's only allowed 11 goals in seven games. Absolutely, yeah. 11 goals in, in, in nine games, that's impressive. That is very impressive. All right, this is Liam Fecto killing valuable minutes off the clock out there with Devin Daly for the penalty killers for DRS. Daly walks out of the corner, a shot on Silva. And Fecto, first in the corner, Somerset Berkeley, a little slow to get started, as they tend to do, and this is dangerous. All right, here's Afonso. He decides to do it himself right now. He's going to take it wide, and here he goes. Up on the star, cuts to the middle, loses the puck. That was almost poked free by Daly, but 
chipped up and out of the zone. Somerset Berkeley gets it back in, but has to tag up. Five seconds left in the penalty as DRS ices it to kill the rest of it. So two penalty kills for DRS in this game. 0 for 2 on the power play for Somerset Berkeley so far. Even strength here. As Matthew Costa says, let's start over. Let's try this again. Tyler Politano, he breaks it up the sideboards to Davis Sullivan. He skates wide, chased by Agresti. Sullivan tries to cut in, hit by Nastar. Picked up in the corner by Somerset Berkeley. Kept in at the point, tough to see down there, and we have a whistle. There were a bunch of players over near the boards, and it uh, looks like we're going to have a penalty on, I don't know yet. Looks like Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk again. So it's going to be Mike Agresti for a trip as four players, two from each side, were against the boards over there. This is Somerset Berkeley's third power play already of the night. We're only a minute and 42 seconds in to the second period. So the RS trying to take advantage here. Uh, excuse me, Somerset Berkeley trying to take advantage here of their third power play opportunity. Yeah, they got to put one in the net now. Pass all the way across. Stolen by Anganetti and back down low. Here's Sebastian Rebello, the DRS goal scorer, for checking hard. Somerset Berkeley, dangerous to the middle. They get it out, but it's turned over in the middle. Here's Rebello again. He's going to take it wide. Goes around Patota. Oh, but Patota gets him a hard hit in the corner. And that's going to be a penalty there. That's a dangerous hit. It's good to see Rebello pop back up. He looks like he's okay. But that's going to be a penalty on Patota. That was it. Kevin Snyder, the coach from Somerset, told me one of the keys for his team was not getting a lot of penalties in the games. He wants his players to stay out of the box. And, yeah. and it looks and like it, that's going to be a, a major uh, penalty there, uh, hit from behind. Those are usually... Uh, you know, no discussion. If it's from behind, it's usually an automatic five-minute major. And I believe I saw the official give the five uh, to the scorekeeper. And, yes, it's going to be a five-minute major penalty on Patota. So we're going to go four on four here for a minute and 18 seconds until the DRS penalty is over. And then DRS will have a, a three-minute and 43-second power play in which they can score as many times as they want. A five-minute major, there is no change in strength. So uh, Somerset Berkeley has to hunker down and kill off a long penalty here. But four on four right now for the next minute 15. Devin Daly tries to go up front. Picked up uh, by Max Aguiar. He skates it wide. Nastar, the long reach, able to break it up. Brink wide pass. This is Daly. Daly going wide. Chips it in as he's facing three guys. That goes across the crease. Up the boards by Somerset Berkeley. Broken out. Here comes Afonso. Poke check by Daly. Has to reset. Afonso again. Circles back in his own zone. Up to Max Aguiar. Aguiar met in the neutral zone by Nastar. Wyatt Nastar now picks it up over to Colton. Colton curls and the breakout pass to Daly in the middle. Daly up the middle. Goes wide. He's got Rebello coming with him. Centers it. Nobody home. Colton Nastar pinches. Can't keep it in, but plays the body. And Daly resets out in the neutral zone. Daly curls into his own zone. Crosses the red line facing four guys. Takes it wide. Broken up by Costa. Costa in the corner. Checked by Daly. Here's Rebello. Rebello back to the point. It's Nastar. The wrist shot in. Silva turns it away. Somerset Berkeley tries to clear it. Bouncing puck. Somerset Berkeley is now shorthanded for the next three minutes and 40 seconds. Five on four for the next 340. Somerset Berkeley tries to clear it. It gets by Nastar and all the way down. 325 left on the major penalty for hitting from behind. Here is Liam Fecto on the near side. Fecto across the middle. Loses it. Nastar picks it up. Back to Fecto. Fecto is going to go wide. He gets broken up. Two guys got tangled. Arms stayed down for the official. That one bounces. Kept in by Nastar. The wrist shot doesn't get through. In the corner, Fecto tries to center it. Bounces back to him. Here's Bastis. Bastis over to Nastar. 
Fakes the wrist shot, drags it. Another wrist shot, tipped over the net. Colton Nastar, that was Bastis, excuse me, over to Wyatt Nastar now, resetting to Bastis. Four checked hard by Somerset Berkeley. Players along the near side glass, Somerset Berkeley throws it forward, picked up by Aiden Booth. Aiden Booth crosses the line, throws it on net. Why not? Turned away by Silva. Fecto, back to the point. This is Wyatt Nastar. Another shot goes wide. Don't know if it was tipped. Just missed the net. Bastis in the corner to Fecto. Fecto can handle it. Chasing it down. Wyatt Nastar keeps it on the line. That stays onside. Picked up in the corner by Colton Nastar. Tries to center it. Can't. Fecto keeps it in. Bounces to Booth. Booth now back down low. Two minutes to go in the penalty. Here's Booth, the freshman. On the sideboards, turns all the way across to Wyatt Nastar. He shoots wide. Colton Nastar in front for the tip. Booth again. That shot's wide. And that puck makes it all the way out. So Seekonk, a shooting gallery, but none of them get to the net. Devin Daly, he'll put it on net. And Silva gloves it easily. So a whistle, a well welcome whistle. For Somerset Berkeley, their penalty killer is working hard. No, this is an important juncture in the game. Either Somerset keeps it a one-goal game or Seacon gets an insurance goal. In a game like this, every one of these goals is so important. Yep. 9-12 to go in the second period. A minute 36 left on the major penalty uh, for Somerset Berkeley. Liam Fecto, Devin Daly, and Noah Bastis uh, up front for Seacon. Brendan Santos and Carter Foley. On the back to complete the power play unit. That's Fecto. He reverses around the net. Back to Foley. Foley. He goes wide to Daly, who's at the bottom of the circle. That bounces out to Foley. He shoots wide. Well, Summers at Berkeley gets control. Noah Taylor skates it out. Back check by Fecto. Met by Santos. But gets around Santos. Santos recovers. And the puck is dumped low by... Taylor. That's Luke Gavin fighting for it with Carter Foley. Liam Fecto helps him out. 55 seconds to go on the penalty. Here's Daly. Daly across the middle with Noah Bastis. Daly does the David Posternak move around the net. Got Fecto out front. Still holds it. Back to Foley. Foley back to Daly. Daly fading away. A shot turned away by Silva. That's Foley. He shoots. It's blocked in the corner. That's Liam Fecto. Fecto tries to center it. Finds its way to Daly. Daly, top of the zone, over to Fecto, between the legs. Dangerous, but it gets there. Fecto to Santos. Santos, the one-timer, had to get rid of it quickly. Saved by Silva. Daly in the corner. 15 seconds left on the penalty. Daly trying to walk out. A good box by Somerset Berkeley, keeping the puck wide. Daly looking for somebody over to Rebello. Rebello can't handle it. Gets it back to Foley, though. Foley dumps it in. That looked like it hit somebody on the bench. No whistle. Rebello walks in, and Silva with the glove. And the penalty is killed off brilliantly by Somerset Berkeley, who just really weathered the storm. That's a big penalty kill. It was really Silva that killed off the penalty more than and the guy's clearing the puck out of the zone. He, he did a good job. He sure did, and he that really handles a, his rebounds. That was a really good chance for Seekonk on that one. So even strength now. Seekonk with three power plays, really two and a half, and uh, Somerset Berkeley with uh, one long, long penalty that they were able to kill off. Let's see if that gives them some momentum, gives them – a little bit of a, a, a pickup there morally because that that is not something you want to happen in a game with of this magnitude. And they were able to weather that storm and kill that no, penalty. Especially when you're down a goal. They need to get more of an attack on the Seacon goalie. They're not getting enough shots on them. So Coach Snyder reaching deep in his bench now as his penalty killers need a rest. So we're looking at John Rothwell here. Rothwell, the toe drag, quick shot. And followed up by Nan Cordero with the goal. So Rothwell skates it over the line, toe drags, uses the defender as a screen, and Cordero 
The rebound sitting there for him. No one near him. Puts it in the wide open net. It's 1-1. Wow, right after that long power play, they come right back and score. We were just talking about whether or not they were going to use that as momentum. It looks like they did. That's a good line with, with Rothwell and, and Cordero. The, the freshman really makes things happen out there with the puck. He, he gets a lot of nuts on goal, and he, he kind of got the puck to Cordero on that one, and, and he put it in the net. Yeah, games like this, shots on goal, you never know. And uh, certainly that one um, just bounced a good bounce right to Codero, and it's a brand new game. And that's how DRS scored their goal, a really good bounce right to Ribello. So uh, freshman on the score sheet so far in this one. Speaking of Ribello, he gets angled off in the corner by Owen Carlisi. Carlisi ends up on the ice, but he's up. And this is Anganetti. Anganetti walks out. Throws it in front of Gresti. A hard hit in the corner on Politano. No call there. Anganetti in the corner. Throws it out front. Silva is going to cover it up. Uh, thanks. Well, we right. got a championship game now. It is yeah, a game now, be... about halfway through, yeah. almost exactly. Yeah. 623 to go in the second period. One to one. Somerset Berkeley, less than a minute after their five-minute major penalty expired, scores the tying goal. Nathan Cadero, the rebound on the doorstep to tie. DRS sending one of their top lines out today. They really have a well-balanced uh, unit as Somerset Berkeley goes forward. Our microphone box just got kicked, so hopefully you can still hear me. I think you can. So we're going to press on. Brendan Santos in the corner. He loses it. Getting checked there by Max Aguiar. And Ryan McCarthy helps, gets it out. Here's Daly. Daly, the toe drag, the flip. Oh, great and the rebound is a score by McCarthy. Ryan McCarthy picks up the rebound in front as there is a pile up in the crease. Yeah. And DRS takes a two-to-one lead. Yeah. That was a great save by Silver on the first shot, but he went down. And he had a clear shot at the net for that goal. Yeah, Silva certainly went down, and uh, the back checkers really just kind of crashed into him. A lot of things were happening in the crease, and I think that's what uh, Coach Snyder's talking to the official about right now. There were uh, jerseys of both colors in the crease there, but uh, it was called a goal right from the start, and it's going to stand. So a nice toe drag move by Daly to get the original shot on, then McCarthy follows up the rebound, and these goals have all been on loose puck rebounds here as DRS takes a 2-1 to -one lead. 5.30 to go in the second period. Another quick one out front and a save by Silva. And that was on Evan Pereira. Brendan Santos in the half boards to Liam Fecto. Down low to Pereira. Pereira tries to get it out front. Checked. Astis picks it up. In the corner. DRS pinches down. That's Astar pinching down. Keeps the puck in. Fecto curls out of the corner. Back up to Nastar. Touches it to Bastis. Afonso tries to steal it. Bounces over his stick, but chips it out into the center. Brendan Santos off the boards to Fecto. Nice pass. Cuts across the top of the blue line. Cleared by Gavin. Nastar dumps it back in to keep the pressure on, but Seekong, DRS, decides to change up. Up the boards, Nastar keeps it in. They're going to say he kept it in. It was close right underneath the camera. And DRS continues the forecheck. Aiden Booth now. That's Devin Daly. Tries to go in front to Booth. Bounces back to Daly. Daly. Throw it back to Nastar. Wrist shot through a screen. Lots of sticks. Lots of screens. Puck doesn't go through. Ryan McCarthy, the goal scorer for DRS. Back behind the net to Daly. Now Booth fighting for it with Afonso. Afonso. Chips it far. 
pinched down by Wyatt Nastar to McCarthy in front. He fans, and it's a two-on-one the other way. And there goes Aguiar. Aguiar can't handle the puck. Goes wide. Let's DRS come back with their back checks. Somerset Berkeley keeps it in, though. Aguiar chips it forward, blocked by Nastar, and he just ices it to take a breath. Uh, that was another chance for Somerset Berkeley. If Aguiar could have handled that pass, yeah, that he puck, would have been right in. That puck the bouncing yeah. in the snow a little bit, and he was all by himself if he handled that. 3.41 to go in the second period. 2-1 to one DRS. Goals by Sebastian Rebello and Ryan McCarthy. Somerset Berkeley goal, Nathan Cadero. Nice curl out of the corner there by Davis Sullivan. Puck is sent back into the corner. Chipped out, and here comes Anganetti for DRS. Anganetti angled off the puck by Tyler Politano, but he still was able to center it to no one. Back comes Somerset Berkeley. Oh, dangerous puck to the middle. Picked up by Anganetti. He flips it in. Why not? And Ashton Branco whips it around the near boards. Puck down to the DRS end. That's where Foley picks it up. Back to the near boards. Anganetti chips it out. Hit by two people. Back deep by Branco. Wyatt Nastar winds up. He's got speed. Goes around two defenders. Takes it wide. Knocked off the puck. Liam Fecto in to help out. He gets control behind the net. Fecto to Agresti in the middle. He goes back to Anganetti. Anganetti shoots right into Agresti. And that was very helpful as it almost deflected in. Anyway, Somerset Berkeley back. Here comes Davis Sullivan. Back check by Carter Foley to break it up. And Liam Fecto resets. Liam Fecto is going to allow his teammates to change up as he just dumps it out to the middle. It's touched by Somerset Berkeley, so no icing there as Devin Daly, first on the puck, centers it. Nobody home. Bastis, toe drag, trying to get it to Daly. Gets it to Daly in the corner. Daly tries to center it. No one there. Puck loose in front. Here's Fecto. Long shift. Tries to go over to Bastis. Intercepted and ice by Somerset Berkeley. That was a dangerous puck in front of the net on, on that on that shot by Seekonk, but nobody could pick it up. Just kind of sitting out there. Nobody, nobody had uh, – everybody was curling the other way, it looked like, on that one. 1.39 to go in the second period. A very quick-moving game here. 2-1, to one, DRS. Fecto wins the draw to Santos. Santos in the corner. That's picked up by Afonso. Who centers it to Gavin. Gavin broken up by Santos. DRS comes away with it. Fecto dumps it deep. Uh, Devin Daly's over there. Hits a seam in the board. Somerset Berkeley gets a break there. Noah Bastis keeps it in. Colton Nastar. The shot tipped by Fecto. Nice save by Silva, and he hangs on. So the freshman Silva making some big saves there. That one was tricky as Fecto was close to him, and it looked like he got a little bit of a stick on it. Yeah, that one was close. So DRS remains with Fecto, Bastis, and Daly as Somerset Berkeley changes up. Face off one to the corner by Davis Sullivan, chipped out. Here comes Noah Taylor. He goes wide. He shoots. That goes wide. Fecto there to pick it up. Loses it along the boards. Bastis to help. Excuse me, Nastar to help. Whips it around. Santos doesn't get there. It's back in by Somerset Berkeley. Chased around by Noah Taylor. Nastar there first, though. They want to keep the play down to where we can't see him. That shot's put in a dangerous spot by Matthew Costa. Kept in by Josh Pacheco. Behind the net now. Out front to Pacheco. A save and then another save on the rebound by Bastis. Pacheco with two chances there. And Bastis kept his eye on the puck. Daly picks his pocket. 
the fancy shot, and that would have been cool if it went in, but he just misses the top corner of the net. A good time to use that play if you're going to use it in the game, but we're going to get a penalty here by Seekonk as the Somerset Berkeley player is slow to get up. We hope he's okay. Noah Bastis going to the box. Looks like an elbow is going to be called on Bastis. Somerset Berkeley player, slow to get up. He's on his knees, though. He's talking to his teammates and the trainer. Another dangerous hit against the boards there. We saw one earlier that led to a five-minute major um, for Somerset Berkeley. This one with just 11 seconds left in the game, uh, in, excuse me, in the second period. Uh, not sure uh, what the call will be time-wise for uh, DRS. Two to one, DRS with the lead. Goals by Sebastian Ribello and Ryan McCarthy. Somerset Berkeley goal by Nathan Cadero as Matthew Costa on his feet. That's good to see. Favoring, it looks like, his left leg a little bit, but we're glad to see him up and skating to the bench on his own. 11 seconds to go in the period. He will get a rest in between periods, and hopefully he's going to be okay to go and for the third. He's been a good defenseman for the team this year. He's Knew the pressure was coming, wasn't afraid to get in there and take the hit to, to move the puck, to protect the puck. Um, paid the price for it, but it's good to see that he is okay. Face off all the way down in the Seekonk end. And this is Somerset's fourth power play, and they, they – have yet to score a goal on a power play. Yep. They, they need to come up with one. Go for three on the power play. 11 right. seconds here. Let's see if they have the game. It's a two minute penalty. Alfonso wins the faceoff almost to himself. Fecto steals it. It gets out of the zone and three seconds left. That's going to do it for the period as the shot is blocked wide. So two to one DRS leads after two periods here at the New England Sports Village, the South Coast Conference Championship game. Going to come down to the last period, as usual, when these two teams play each other. Two to one, DRS with the lead. Welcome back to the New England Sports Village South Coast Conference Hockey Championship game between two undefeated teams, Deitner Hobus Seekonk and Somerset Berkeley. It's a 2 1 DRS lead right now after two periods. Sebastian Ribello got them on the board, the freshman with his third goal of the season in the first period. Then uh, in the second period, it was Nathan Cadero for Somerset Berkeley, but just a few minutes after that, it was Ryan McCarthy for DRS to give DRS the 2-1 lead. Uh, DRS will start this period shorthanded, though, as Somerset Berkeley looking to capitalize on their fourth power play of the game. Yeah. I'm jo joined here by George Austin from the Somerset Sentinel, sponsored by SATV, the cable access station in town. What are your thoughts, George, as we head into the last period of this championship well, game somerset berkeley is the defending south coast conference champion we have one period to see if they'll hang on to that or if it'll be taken by seekonk type rehoboth somerset berkeley needs to get more of an attack on 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 dighton rehoboth goalie sam bastis it, it, they haven't gotten enough shots on him in, in the first two periods and they he hasn't i don't think they've tested him enough and they if they're going to pull this game out they got to be on the attack this period. Yeah, we have two freshman goalies on each side, Sam Bestis and Brandon Silva, and they've really played above and beyond the class. Yeah, they've made some, they both made some great saves. 
All right, Evan Afonso centering Davis Sullivan and Max Aguiar for Somerset Berkeley's power play unit. And here we go. 15 minutes to the championship. Liam Fecto for DRS dumps it in. Collected there by Carter Stevens. Breakout pass goes wide. Why a NASCAR? A danger. It's a little bouncing shot on Silva. Spins it wide. Somerset Berkeley going the wrong way. They're going to reset back behind their own net. Four check by Fecto. Long pass into the middle. That was going to Sullivan. Sullivan gets it. Slap shot blocked by NASCAR, who's had a big, big game today. The sophomore, a big game, logging a lot of ice time for DRS. There he is again in the corner, trying to chip it out. Kept in. This is Sullivan. Sullivan around the net. The backhand pass. That's their play. That's the play that tied the game with 10 seconds left uh, the last time. They go around one side of the net. Backhand pass. The side that they came on, but DRS sniffed it out this time. Liam Fecto to Daly. Shorthanded. Daly goes wide. He's got a step. The shot. Turned away by Silva. Back come the Blue Raiders. This is Sullivan. Sullivan with the shot. That goes wide. Evan Afonso down low. Max Aguiar can't get it. Carter Foley. He does. Kept in, though, by Sullivan. Here's Aguiar. Aguiar centers it. No one home. Goes to the point. The shot wide. A lot of backboards being hit on both sides as Devin Daly chips it out into his own bench. And the teams are back at even strength. So 0 for 4 on the power play for Somerset Berkeley. That's not a way to win a championship. No, you need to come up with a goal or two off those opportunities, especially when you're not getting as many shots in the five-on-five. So the last time a Somerset Berkeley power play expired, they were able to capitalize right away. So let's see if they have a little bit of that in them. Carter Foley now. Off the boards to center. Back in by Patoda. And dumped deep by DRS. This is Carter Stevens. He circles in that breakout pass. Misses everything. And that is icing. So it's good to see Matt Costa on the bench for Somerset Berkeley standing up. Looks like he's getting ready for a, a shift. He went down and stayed down after a hard hit behind the net at the end of the last period, which uh, led to the DRS penalty. But Costa on the bench being talked to by one of the coaches, but seems like he's sitting in a spot where he's going to hop over the boards and go out there. So really good to see that as it was a scary, scary uh, collision behind the net there. All right, Carter Stevens behind the net. Tries to break out pass again. Kicked back. Stevens is going to try the other way. Here's the backhand pass up the near boards. That one makes it to the middle. Davis Sullivan wide. A big hit by Carter Foley on Josh Pacheco, who is trying to dipsy do around him. Somerset Berkeley keeps it in, though, fighting along the boards. Shot on net by Stevens, tipped wide. Noah Bastis comes out with it, finds Liam Fecto. Fecto through center, loses the handle. Out by Stevens. Here comes Noah Taylor, crosses the blue line, takes the shot. Half blocked by Santos, bounces in, and Bastis stops the play by covering it up. 11.54 to go in the third period, 2-1 DRS. You see Conkdite Rehoboth defense. We got a piece of that shot, which didn't have much on it by the time it got to Seems the Seems like they always have two or three guys facing the puck. It's got to be frustrating for uh, an attacking team, for sure. Afonso and Daly on the faceoff. Santos for DRS. Lugs it up ice. Crosses the red line. Dumps it in. Goes Aiden Booth. First in the corner to get it. Lost it. Ask Bronco. Gets it around. To Luke Gavin. He goes middle. Here comes Afonso. He goes wide on Santos. The backhander. Nice save by Bastis. Santos back behind his own net. Around 
And Aiden Booth can't get it. Stepped up, kept in momentarily. And Somerset Berkeley resets down low. Sent in by Luke Gavin. Afonso going in, pinches, keeps the puck there momentarily. Aiden Booth there to lug it out of the zone. Booth, in the zone, checked by Max Aguiar. And that's going to be a penalty. DRS with possession of the puck, so I'm not sure who this is on. Looks like it's going to be on Aguiar for the hold. So the officials calling these penalties. That could have gone either way. Late in the championship game, you're surprised to see a call like that. But yeah, you never want to see a game decided on a penalty. But so Somerset Berkeley killed off uh, one major penalty already. So let's see how they do on a two-minute uh, penalty here. Afonso wins the draw back into the corner. Carter Stevens is there. Checked by Fecto. Fecto, he comes out with it. He loses in the corner. Kept in by Nestar, who dumps it back into the corner. Fecto in there fighting for it. Fecto from the slot. Top corner saved by Silva. That's going to be a hand pass. So Silva, with the save, bounced it out high. Fecto couldn't bring it down with his hand, and the hand pass is called faceoff all the way down in the DRS zone. Faceoff won by Somerset Berkeley. Dumped low by Patota. Fecto there, Wyatt Nastar. He lugs it out, stops, goes back, killing time. Loses it in front of his own net. Checked by David Sullivan, but gets it out of the zone. Here's Noah Bastis trying to split the D. He goes down, and Silva covers it up. Looks like he just tripped himself up there a little bit. No uh, arms are in the air. So, minute 13 left on the... DRS power play, 2-1. to one. DRS lead with 10-16 to go in the third period. Fecto and Sullivan on the draw. Two sophomores. One by Fecto. That's Daly. He flips it into the far corner. Daly has it down low. Goes out front to Bastis, who was in the back door. But now it's going the other way. Oh, the pass. Trying to headman the puck to Taylor, and he misses badly as that one goes in the corner. But Taylor with a good forecheck. Davis Sullivan has it again. But DRS gets back. Daly breaks it out to Fecto. Fecto looks like he doesn't have any legs left. Got to get a, a change up here as he goes to Wyatt Nastar. Back to Fecto. Fecto going to get the red line. He decides to take it in. Fecto leaves it for Daly. Daly, the shot. Silva, the save. Holds on to it as usual. Face off to the left of Brandon Silva. Silva's kept Somerset Berkeley in this game. If he make, the, make a lot of these saves, they'd be down a few more goals. And really the only couple rebounds he gave up found the net. So he's been really good at uh, controlling his rebounds there. 22 seconds left on the DRS power play. Daly back down low all the way around where Noah Bastis picks it up. Bastis being patient, tries to go to Nastar, but rolls off his stick. Nastar to Daly, to Fecto, to Daly. Daly goes wide. Will go behind the net, tries to tuck. Silva holds the post and holds on to the rebound as the penalty expires. So another... Big penalty kill by Somerset Berkeley. Uh, both teams have had good penalty kills. The, really, the, the goals have all come on full strength. They have. Yes, they absolutely have. And again, good to see Matt Costa, number 21 in blue, back out there after a scary injury at the end of the second period. So he seems to be okay. And here he is, Matt Costa, wraps it around the boards. That's Sean Patota. Oh, excuse me. Max Aguiar, he gets 
Over the middle. That's Afonso now. Afonso whips. Keeps it in. Battling with Foley. Defense pinching up. Leads to a three-on-one with back checkers. Agresti. Can't get the pass over. Collects it behind the net. Skates behind the net. Nets off. So this freshman goaltender might know some veteran tricks here as the net seems to be coming off the pegs a little bit. Why not? If it's going to work, why not if you need the rest? Eight thirty-two to go in the third period. Two to one, DRS. And we are very sorry for the lack of camera angles that we have here on this uh, live stream. They put the game in the small rink over at the New England Sports Village, and there's not a lot of room for fans. So, hard shot by Ryan McCarthy. Zips over the net. Kept in there by Carter Foley and Aiden Booth. Somerset Berkeley resets. Long pass by Costa up to Agner. He loses it. Santos tries to dump it in. That stays where it is. Afonso tries to go middle to Gavin. And there's Aguiar. Aguiar can't get it. Afonso picks it up. He's dangerous. Quick shot. Bastis turns it away. Here comes Devin Daly. Daly and Booth, two on one. Daly beats him. Tries to do it himself with the flip. Can't get it over the pad. Booth follows up and another save by Silva. Wow, how did Silva come up with that one? That was a two-on-one, and it looked like they had a great opportunity. Afonso makes a move at the blue line. Yeah, that's, that's offside. Tough place to make a move there. So Silva may have saved the game there on the initials on Devin Daly and then the follow-up by Aiden Booth. Two big saves as he really holds his post well and he has his fundamentals in check. Great freshman goalie. The future of both of these teams look really good, especially on the back end with these two freshman goaltenders. Here's Fecto crosses the blue line. Can't get it through. up here's noah taylor taylor drops shoots fastest with the save juicy rebound but fecto's back check here comes noah bastis he's got fecto with him bastis goes wide centers it and the rebound score liam fecto the off angle shot by noah bastis and liam fecto Beats the defender to the front of the net and is able to chip it far side past Brandon Silva with 6.53 to go. 3-1 to one, DRS. That's a big goal. That's a big goal. Just a hustle goal there with an off-angle shot. And Fecto just beat everybody to the front of the net. Got his stick on there. He's got a long reach. He's a lanky sophomore. A uh, long arms, long stick, and he was able to get enough of that puck to chip it in inside the right post. Now, DRS had a two-goal lead a week ago with less time than this on the clock, and Somerset Berkeley found a way back in it. So it's not over yet, even though the fans are very excited to get a two-goal DRS uh, lead. And it, so it looks like Somerset's taking a timeout to see what their strategy is going to be to try and come back. It, it should be interesting. Especially when you have a senior like Evan Afonso, who's a great scorer. This this could be the last six minutes and 53 seconds of his career. So I'm sure he's going to be going all out. And I think you do need to think about shortening the bench if you're Kevin Snyder. And I think you do need Afonso on the ice as much as possible. And I think a lot of pucks are going to have to go right to the net. That's how all the goals have been scored. Just dirty, old-fashioned, hard-working goals. Yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good rushes to the net. But a goal here, quick by Somerset Berkeley, will get them right back in the game, and then it'll be a real grind to the finish. So let's see what they come up uh, with. Six minutes and fifty-three seconds is a lot of time in a hockey game. Lots of time in a hockey game, absolutely. So it's Carlisi. 
Cadero, the goal scorer, and Carter Stevens up front. Excuse me. John Rothwell up front for Somerset Berkeley. And that is Rothwell who dumps it low. It looks like they're going to just get it low and try to keep it there. Agresti takes it out, though, and he's going to get it low. You're going to see a lot of this, especially from DRS side. That kills the clock faster than a lot of other things. Austin Bronco behind the net. And the puck's chipped out to center. Here's Agresti coming off the boards with the puck. He dumps it in right on that. Silva to the sideboards. Scooped up there by Bronco. Bronco behind the net. He sends it up the boards. Whistle. Penalty. It looks like it's going to be on DRS. For, nope, excuse me. Yes, looks like it's going to be on DRS for a hook. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, folks. We are doing the best we can here. Uh, last minute, 321 to go, 3-1. Both teams at even strength. Fecto dumps it deep. Aiden Booth there first. Devin Daly out in the slot. Booth keeps it down low. Nice move. Daly in the slot, misses the corner. Kept in there by Foley. Foley down low. Look for DRS to continue to just keep it down low. 2.55 to go in the period. Back comes Somerset Berkeley. Brendan Santos, nice back check. Tips the puck in the corner, but back to Afonso. Afonso trying to do it behind the net. Back check by Liam Fecto. He gets it up the boards, and Daly is able to take it off the boards and skate. Back check by Somerset Burtley. 2.25 to go. Here's Bastis. Bastis tries the drag. Broken up by Costa. Dumped deep by Noah Taylor. Met there by Pacheco. Broken up by Fecto. That's Pacheco again. There's Colton Nastar. He chips it up. Dump back deep. Here's Devin Daly on the back check. That one gets chipped and goes all the way down the ice. They are going to call icing. So an icing call there with a minute 56 to go in the third period. Three to one. DRS has the lead as we are inching ever so closely to the end of regulation. <clears throat> Face off coming to Sam Bastis' left. <clears throat> One by Somerset Berkeley. But Rebello is able to chip it out. Here goes Bastis. Noah Bastis jump, dumps it deep. The Seekonk Berkeley net is empty. Wyatt Nastar dumps it back deep. DRS got into trouble last time when there was an empty net. Let's see if they play it safe this time. Over the line comes Sullivan. He stops there. Wyatt Nastar gets his stick in the way. Back up the boards. Devin Daly to help out. Puck goes to the middle. Rebello can't get it. Shot by Davis Sullivan. Turned away. There's Costa. Costa loses it. Daly pokes it to center. Daly, he's going to get it there first, but does he have the angle? Off the post and in by Rebello. His second goal of the game. Devin Daly wins the race to the corner after the poke check up at the blue line. It's 4-1 DRS with a minute eight to go, and that might be the nail in the coffin. The three goal lead, a I, I, minute and an eight left. I, 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 uh, Somerset Berkeley tried to come out with a pulled goalie and, and get a goal back, but that, that happens sometimes when you try yep. to do that. They had to be very aggressive trying to keep the puck into the offensive zone. So um, trying to do it, you're going to see the seniors be put out on the ice here by Coach Tom Fecto of DRS. Actually, you're going to see Brendan Santos taken off the ice. Senior captain Brendan Santos. He's still got some sports to play as he's a football and baseball player at Seekonk High School. 
but certainly a good way to end his hockey career if the score stays the same. Last minute to play in the period. As the Nastars have it, Fecto over the middle, dumps it on net. Big rebound, chip to side. Fecto keeps it in. Just needs to dump it low, and he does. 42 seconds to go. Puck out at center. Fecto all the way across the ice to safety. And here comes John Rothwell. A race with Fecto. Fecto up the boards into the neutral zone. Pereira there trying to do it. Brendan Santos trying to muscle it forward. Fecto back covering. And there's Fecto again. And he's just going to dump it in with... Five seconds to go, four seconds to go, three, two, and that is the game. Diane Rossiconk wins the South Coast Conference Championship with a 4-1 victory over the defending state champions, Somerset Berkeley, Blue Raiders. What a game. George Austin, thank you for joining us. A great yeah, battle right. between two really, really good teams. It, it was great. I'm sure we'll see them battling again next year. Absolutely. Thank Thanks. you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you again, George and SATV out of Somerset. We both got some work to do post game, so we're going to cut it off here. Congratulations to both teams. Dighton Rehoboth Seekonk 4, Somerset Berkeley 1. South Coast Conference Championship goes to DRS. <laughs>